So as you can see, the hand attack gets cancelled if you hit it. See, this is, like, tutorial has the three attacks, really. This is the hard one. Well, it's the hard one at this point. That's why, because it can do stuff like that, and that's pretty hard to dodge these things. Got her without her having to go into that phase. So this is the kind of thing that's going to be most of the fights in this game. It's going to be just a, a slugfest until one of us falls. So it's not going to be easy, but I'm pretty sure I can handle everything in the game like this. Just via um, the armor and equipment. So blah blah blah, Toriel does not want Adscore to take my soul, blah blah blah, of course not, I'm not planning on it. No, Toriel. So, yeah, I'm horrible, I know. And we're gonna go give Papyrus a couple tries. So, if I lose to Papyrus uh, three times here, I'm gonna cut the video just so that I don't skip Papyrus, because if you lose enough times, he'll just let you bypass him, and I think that's kind of silly. But... So here's his fabled blue attack. Ugh, how did I not time that in time? So I'm allowed to take 11 more hits during this fight. That's so 12 mistakes is a lot. But it's also very easy to make those mistakes at this speed. I would peg the difficulty of this fight at this speed at around 6. Yeah, these early attacks are pretty easy, but the later ones are a challenge. His health is going down fast. And mine's not. going faster than if I were to try to spare him, actually. Because he just goes, hold my special attack, and the dog doesn't dare me. Dare kill me. Cool, dude. Okay, that was silly. But I got him. First try, Papyrus. Uh, this by tanking hits. I had a pretty good first part of that fight. So he will spare me. He will always try to spare you. You can always go over and hit spare. And... So this part, poor dude, but that's, that's the, that's what I'm doing, there's a dummy, look at the dummy, it does not matter what you do, you always fight the dummy, unless you're on a genocide run. So, the way the bad dummy fight works, you aim the uh, 
his own magic attacks back at him. That was weird. I only pushed Z twice. This song is too catchy. How did all of those miss? So after you hit him with enough, he turns into dummy bot phase. Dummy bot phase is a little trickier. And by a little trickier, I mean debatably a little trickier. You don't have to hit him with the rockets. And that's his final attack. He doesn't need friends because he's got knives. Except now he's out of knives. So Mad Dummy, not too terribly difficult once you know how it works. Thanks, Napstablook. I wonder if, does, I wonder if Napstablook's tears hurt. Probably should have checked when I had the chance, but didn't realize I had the chance. Maybe I should run away after the third as well. Like, in the third chance I get. This is the, like, I don't know if the rank affects her um, red attacks. I still think is the most critical. Just because the first phase is so easy, I should always avoid damage during it. Okay, so damn resilient. I oh, I did so much damage, I got so damn resilient in the early phase! Like, with low rank. So my damage being so good puts me in, in absolutely insane shape for phase three. Okay, if I lose this fight, this is a choke of epic proportions. at this phase. One more. Got her! Okay, now I now I just have to survive this phase. I don't remember what this phase does. I cannot afford to lose. 9 HP. I finally dodged the last part. So when I first saw this part, I was in a silly dog ending race with my younger brother. It's 
It's lagging. Why is it lagging? Why am I lagging here? Let me make sure it's a ta like chain engine still working here. Okay, that's weird. So, I might have lost at this point. I don't know. We'll never know. I'm just gonna have to accept this as the way it is. I wouldn't be surprised if this is something. Like, I don't know why it's doing this. I knew why, so it wasn't doing this. But, silly dog ending race with my brother. I didn't know this happened. He knew this happened. It, this got to me. I think it was just one of those effects that wasn't being liked by my computer or something. So you've got a minute to get up here as Metaton tries to stop you. Except you can't actually fail this. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do to avoid getting hit. The flower attack is the only hard one. I say as I get hit on a non-flower attack. Cool, I still made it to the top. It's very hard to fail that. Just in case. So, MTT News. A dog exists somewhere. Everything in this room is a bomb, and... You've got two minutes, actually three minutes, to try to defuse the bombs. So I'm gonna see if I can do it. Dog defused. Nice, this is going well. Nice! Last time I played the game at double speed, I completely botched the uh, bomb defusing segment. So that feels pretty good to get. So there's plenty of ways around this fight, so it being a little easier from lag that's out of my control is... Unfortunate? But what can you do, really? These hacks are going the same way every time, aren't they? I really wish it didn't lag, though. It's unfortunate that I never get to... Like, I, don't, I have not gotten to truly experience this attack like it was meant to be played. But the fact that it is going at a slower rate here... Uh, shows that Undyne was lagging, but I looked at it at a double speed on a YouTube video of somebody doing it, and I think I still would have won. I might have been hit once or twice, but I still would have won.
on the one of the 1 HP rounds, though, I might have lost, so... Because it's a good thing I had 9, makes the victory kind of guaranteed. Yeah, this is a known issue with the game on some Windows 8 machines. Kind of a pain, but what really... <sighs> takes a lot of the challenge out of this fight. But then again, I could have taken a lot of the challenge out of this fight. I died on that attack before, so... Oh what, did I seriously almost win on the first attempt? Whoa, wait, I'm not trapped and I'm purple. Regardless, that's Muffet. Let's see how much the shoes do. Oh, that's a very close to That was with a single crit. Yeah, I don't know. The weapon choice is very interesting. Gotta keep the essays interesting, right? Now I know I only need to dodge three things during this. Ah, to shoot the one I thought I shot. Maybe keeping the cowboy hat is the right call. Oh wow, keeping the cowboy hat was the right call. I just want to buy a cowboy hat and shoes. See, that's why I kept all the old equipment around, because it might be useful to have.
Because extra invincibility won't help me, but slate healing could buy me a hit. I don't think the locket buys me a hit, but I am pretty sure that, uh... The knife is the fat, like, my most, my most damage efficient method of fighting here. Wow, that was crossing over itself weirdly. The locket actually wasn't giving me any extra hits. So the locket was completely useless. So, apron. And knife. Stuff like that now. Now it's definitely over. Is it actually not over? <laughs> what? I got him! <laughs> That was such a good ending! Um... <laughs> okay, do I kill him? Or do I let Flowey kill him? I'll let Flowey do it. It's funnier if I let Flowey do it. See, the really sad part is that he says, and his wife... eating pie, but... If you didn't already know Toriel was his wife, you killed her. Well, let's just put it this way. If you didn't already know, you'd feel pretty guilty. Open. Speed hack. Apply. Okay, so. Game crash. Flowey does it. Welcome to Flowey Tale. Flowey's kind of crazy. <laughs> so, now we have to fight Flowey. And Flowey doesn't have the uh, overall, well, RPD style. It's just straight up dodging. And it's bizarre if you haven't seen it. Well, if you followed the little warning, you have seen it. Alright, we'll get him this time. Like, I've done this before. This is exactly the same with or without items, because there are no items in this fight. If he didn't pull out that laser at the last second. So, I know a little trick about this. I don't have to worry about dodging these. I'm gonna try because it's fun, but you cannot die in the soul phases. You can die between the soul phases, but it's kinda hard to. starts playing with save states, the uh, mid phases get a lot easier. I 
also with the way the health bar works in these in these phases, you can be very close to death without actually die being in any danger of dying. So as you can see, as long as you know that uh, Flowey only loads his state if and only if you don't get hit. If you do get hit, he won't load it. Which means if you, which means if you just keep tap, 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 and don't get hit, then he won't, sit, he won't load the state. If you go tap, 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 and you get hit, well, he won't load it. Knowing that he's going to means just keep going tap, 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 and you should dodge this hack even afterwards. So this is the bad apple part. are aimed in your position. It's very hard to die in this phase. So I'm just idly tapping C and flailing around. So you can hear right here there's a little bit of music overlapping the same music. Oh that's bad. I said it's hard to die, not impossible to die. I want to get all the healing items. All the healing things. Not dodge the greens! And that would be Omega Flowey defeated. So, one loss here. Not too bad. Oh yeah. You idiot. Oh no, I died, I died, I died, I keep dying. I'm so bad at this game now. <laughs> it's it's worth messing with him for that. Like it's it's worth it. Like, if you keep suiciding, he gets mad at you. Nom 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 nom. There you have it. So, because dog ending kind of requires sparing everybody except for uh, the four, I'm gonna spare Flowey. Partly because he just goes insane as you try to do it. The fact that he can't understand is honestly kind of sad, but that's Flowey. So we go through the door. That's Undertale.